Before we get started, you need to learn how to align your print and roll it down onto the plate so that you can make sure that you don't have uh, bubbles under it or have problems with the image not releasing and staying on the plate itself. So what you're going to do is place your plate when it's after it's prepared and cleaned on the table. Then you're going to use a piece of tape to hold it in place. and another piece on the other side. You're gonna have an absorbent paper underneath it. And then you're going to place your print right where you want it to fall on the plate. I think I like that about there. And then you're going to tape it down. I'm gonna urge you to learn this method before you uh, strike out on your own with impatience doing this a different way, and then having bubbles and stringy things and having many failures. So I really would like it if you would learn this method. It'll avoid a lot of problems. And uh, if you do run into problems, you can always go back to doing it this way. Everything's aligned now and where it ought to be. The print gets folded backwards and then the sauce is put on the plate. After the sauce is on the plate, the proper way to get the image on the plate is to use an, a paint roller, a nice fresh new one that's nice and soft. These paint rollers don't have any lint on them, so they're nice to use because you won't get lint on your image. And before you ever put your solution down, practice how it should be applied to the plate. You can see that I'm pushing with the roller all the way to the end and sliding it across. So this is the motion that's pressing the plate in contact with the film. If you were to simply tape this down and decide you're, oh, I could do that, you're gonna end up with a little air bubble or an air pocket somewhere underneath. And then when you pull this off, you're gonna have a place where you do not have an image that stays on the plate. And also you can see I just touched this plate with my finger. Don't do that because there's oil in your fingers and that can cause a resist. Okay, so you're going to practice a few times. You don't want to lead with this and follow with the roller. You actually want that roller to be pressing against the film, light pressure on the plate itself, pushing this film down all the way to the end. Don't let it flop and let it slide off. Practice that before you ever put your sauce on the plate. If you think you're going to just roll it up like this and roll it down, you're likely to have an air pocket and not get good contact. So learn to do it with the paint roller before you go on and do it your own way. That way with the paint roller, you're gonna have success. I have the Super Sauce Solution all mixed up. Now your solution should run like uh, a little bit like a warm syrup. And you see the stringy stuff that's hanging on here? That's gonna create problems. That means that some of this alcohol evaporated while I was um, mixing it or left the jar open. So I'm gonna just stir this up a little bit because that had fallen to the bottom and that's the stringy stuff that uh, will cause the film not to release. So I'm just gonna take the solution off the top. Can also add a little bit more alcohol to this to thin it down a bit. When you're applying the solution to the plate, you're going to do it quickly. You're going to apply a light coating. You're not gonna have this brush dripping in solution. You don't need to keep dipping in the jar. You're going to go back and forth several times. What this does is it helps you look for uh, any pieces of lint or dirt that you might have picked up and not seen to clean off. Anything like that will cause the film not to have contact and cause a bubble. Brushing it back and forth also really works the solution into the raised grain on the plate and it makes sure that there's plenty of saturation on the plate itself. Once that's done, you don't wait. 
You immediately take your roller. I'm gonna move this jar. You immediately take your roller, firmly press it down and push all the way to the end. And then we're gonna time for three minutes and then remove the film. Okay, three minutes is up. Just before we remove the film, we're gonna run a finger right along the edge to break the uh, seam right along the film and the edge of the plate because some of the uh, coating on the film now is sticking to this white paper. You'll always put this piece of absorbent paper underneath your print. Okay, we're gonna start at this corner and pull this back. Keep the film as horizontal as possible. You can see that it's releasing real nice. You might be able to tell there's these little stringy things on the edge. Those are the things that were broken when I ran my finger around the edge of the plate to make sure that that didn't pull up into the image. So that's a perfect transfer. And the only way you're gonna make sure that you have a perfect transfer is to practice that alignment and roll down method that I've just shown you. If you wanna do variations on that, I urge you to try your own methods after you master the way I've showed you how to do it. It's time to take a look at what images might go with which surfaces. And this is really the creative, some people call it the hard part because there's going to be so much on these plates that you may just love and the fact is you have to erase a fair amount of what's on here in order for an image to show. For this uh, particular example, I've chosen this plate and then I have this picture which is an old photograph that was taken in one of the photo booths and I want to place it right over where this oval area is. But of course that center oval area is going to obscure the face. So what I'm going to do is use the template outside to protect this area out here that I want to keep. I'm going to use an SOS pad to scour away the patina that is in the center and in the oval area. With the SOS, I will be able to get this back down to a very shiny mirror-like uh, metal surface. Now the metal surface is going to appear to be somewhat of a mid-tone uh, gray in color underneath the image. I think I want this portrait to be much whiter and have higher contrast. So after I get done scrubbing away this center, I'm going to follow that with some sandpaper. I'm going to wipe away the water. I've got most of that off and you can see how shiny it is already. Now I'm going to use some 100 grit sandpaper. I want to work this close to the edge, just as close as possible so that most of my image will fall right in this oval. Now that's pretty scratched up and I think I would like it to be a bit smoother than that. So this is a 4-0 steel wool that I'll buff this with a little bit. And that's not taking out quite enough of the scratches, so I'm going to switch to a 2,000 grit sandpaper. Now this 2,000 grit sandpaper is really getting this down to a nice finish where I don't have too much reflective mirror-like shine but and still have some uh, satin finish that'll give a whiter look to the image. I'm gonna take it over to the sink and wash it off and then we'll see if we've got enough of this oval removed. That looks like it's gonna work real nice. So let's take the plate away now for a minute. If you recall, we used one of the centers from the uh, drop out of the template uh, on the plate when it was aged. Now I'm gonna place that oval over the center of my image. 
And then what I'm gonna do is wipe away the image and the emulsion on this uh, film using a wet cotton ball. What this is gonna allow me to do is transfer the image without having any of the emulsion transferring to the outside of the image itself. By wiping off the emulsion from the film, we're able to reduce the possibility of having stringy things along the edges, which you are all going to run into as you do this process. And those stringy things are strictly the emulsion that gets hung up on the edge as you're doing the transfer. I see a little bit of this uh, border still left on here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. All right, let's tape down another clean sheet of paper to the table and place the plate in the center of that paper with a bit of masking tape on the back so it doesn't skid around. And this is the image we're going to transfer and this is all dry around the edges now.